Hello everyone, uh, welcome to the first instalment of the Digital Design with VHDL testing. Um, and what I'm doing here today is showing you how we're going to be connecting up uh, with our Spartan 6 uh, FPGA board. So this is the board that many of you will have started playing with, perhaps in at the end of your assignment one. Um, and what we have is we have our USB port here. Uh, we have an Ethernet port here, we've got some GPIO, some buttons, uh, some small dip switches and a connection. Uh, what I, in my setup I've got here is I've got uh, my Mac. Um, we're going to just have a quick look at the user guide just so that you can get an idea. Um, we've got a USB extender, uh, I've got a connection for the serial interface. Um, importantly, I've got my ESD wrist strap on and I've got my own little ESD strap. Uh, and I've got kind of everything roughly here in front of me. Um, I personally have a Mac, so I use a terminal uh, to then connect everything together. Um, and one of the things that we would want to do first is we were going to want to have a sort of check on how we actually connect to this guy. Um, one of the things you'll see um, on uh, Surrey Land is that you'll actually ask you to then go and connect up to the board, and you'll be able to see then whether or not the board powers on, whether or not it has some LEDs. This is your sort of basic thing that you're going to want to do when you're turning these things on for the first time. Um, can you control the LEDs? Can you do what it needs? Um, importantly, you're going to need to install a driver. Um, for me, um, I've got all the drivers, but they've got them um, for lots and lots of different sort of uh, schemes. So whether or not it's Windows 10, 7, Mac, Linux, Android at the bottom there, if you're so well inclined, um, and you've got um, one of those other machines, um, then you can do that. Now, what we've got, though, is we want to sort of see it running. Um, so to do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just keep my eye on this directory here, um, slash dev. So slash dev certainly in a uh, Mac and on Linux um, is the place where you're going to see um, all of your dev uh, devices coming up. And so if you actually wanted to then see what it looks like, I do the ls-lrt. So that means I'm sorting what's really happening inside here um, by um, the length and by time as well. The T is the time bit because I want to see when I plug this thing in, do we see any new com ports or new devices turn up um so what i'm going to do is i'm going to plug it in now let's just plug this guy in ah, there we go uh, and we can see now that we've got some uh, leds are starting to go uh, the board will be starting up um, and when it actually starts going it does this flashing led thing okay so what we can do now is we can actually see what's changed um, on windows that'll be on your usual uh, device driver but for us we can now see that we've got a couple of new devices. It's these ones here because it's using that particular driver. Okay. Um, now, if I want to connect to it, the thing that I would want to do um, is, I, for me, I use Screen, but there's lots of other ones. There's Putty, uh, there's Minicom, there's lots of other sort of interfaces. Now, the, uh, the actual thing here that we're doing is we're passing into it the address of where the interface is um, and the speed. Okay. So if we wanted to, and we were quick enough, we can connect to that um, and actually see it all completely start up. You can see that in PuTTY. Um, I'm not sure if I'm quick enough here. Um, but when you've actually got it going in, you've got sort of an interface kind of going, um, we've now got a menu that we can actually use and you can actually type in help and it will actually turn on the things and you can then type, you know, the display banner, you know, so you can actually see what actual board is doing what everything is running on and when, when the factory is. You can see there, that's the factory testing. So that's kind of what comes on pre-installed in this board. Um, interestingly, if we wanted to actually do a test of the blinking, we can do blink off. So we can go blink off. And then we should be able to watch blinking has turned off. If we wanted to, we can then do the blink on and it can then start doing our blinking activity again. So that there is just some of the tests that we can do. And of course, there's lots of things in this menu to test the memory, to test all the interfaces, perform factory resets. All of those things are there for us to start. But that there is the basic interface test for us. Um, everything is on Surrey Land. If you, if you have this board, um, this is the sort of way in which we can then connect up to all of our different systems. Um, but I just thought I'd show you what the sort of first pieces were that we do um, and what interfaces uh, come up as. Uh, for those of you that are interested in power, I've got this little power meter here um, for me because I like measuring things. Um, I've got lots of small pieces of equipment. You can see there it's, you know, it's drawing a small amount of power uh, there. So 144 milliwatts, uh, which is brilliant. Um, there's just a quick demo of how we connect into it. Uh, the next thing we're going to want to do 
is actually use Xilinx ISE and then program something else onto it. Okay, 